Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete every single challenge in the next Forza Fun event uh, called Horizon Harvest Returns in which you can win the Porsche 944 Turbo and the Bentley Continental Super Sports. So without further ado let's get stuck straight into these challenges. Uh, the first one called Harvest Time just wants you to perform 30 landscaping skills to win the Porsche 944 Turbo. The next one called Gatherer and Feast uh, wants you to complete a co-op race in a van and utility to receive 90,000 credits. And the third one, called Fly to the Table, wants you to perform 20 air skills in a GT car to win the Bentley Continental Super Sports. And the final one is just a promotional offer, which gives you 30% off everything in the auto show. So let's get stuck into the third one, uh, first one, sorry, which just wants you to get 30 landscaping skills. Now you can really go anywhere for this with, that's got sort of fences and shrubbery, but I went to this area here just off the Yara Valley uh, Festival. And you can do this in whatever car you want. Now, um, I was a bit silly and did it in this... Um, Ford uh, race car, uh, so I'd suggest doing it in an off-road car, but the premise of a landscaping skill um, is basically a wreckage skill uh, on an object such as a fence or some shrubbery, but it doesn't work as much on shrubbery, so I recommend just doing it on fences, which is what I did, uh, and maybe some of the trees as well, but things like little bushes like that doesn't really work as much, neither do those um, fruit trees, whatever they are, I haven't got a clue, um, so yeah, basically I just went through... Um, plowing into loads of fences, you know, annoying the local farmer basically, um, by destroying his farm's protective fences, they're not that strong, um, but yeah, all I did was ragged it in a straight line, uh, and as you can see here, just getting wood all the time just getting wood um, but anyway yeah just basically destroy as many fences as possible uh, in whatever car you want uh, and you will obviously get the wreckage skill pop up first and then you'll have the landscaping skill because it is basically a combo um, so it's sort of an agricultural wreckage skill if you will um, you know it is what it is <laughs> any car you want though get 30 of the skills I just rag it around a few farms if I was you like this one here for example or anywhere else that you know that has fences um, just destroy them all Obviously, you might want to leave it in between time, but yeah, it's not that hard. Uh, the next one called Gather and Feast just wants you to complete a car race in a van's and utilities vehicle for 90,000 credits. So obviously, you go into your cars and you will filter by pressing Y. Scroll down to vans and utility. Overshot it a bit there, but anyway. Um, and then you can pick anything. So there was my drift van, and I figured I probably won't do well in a race in that. Um, so in the end, I just went with my Holden Ute. Um, now, obviously, when you've selected your van or utility vehicle, or Ute, as the Aussies will call it, it and I'll probably get a bollocking for not calling it that. Um, you will then obviously go into your menu, um, press RB and go across your social tab and then go on co op campaign in which you can then create a session uh, and invite your friends or you can just join a random session, it's entirely down to yourself. Um, and then obviously, when you're in that session, you can pick any race you want and um, race with your friends basically. So it just wants you to complete a race, doesn't matter if you win or lose, entirely down to yourself or how good you're going to perform in the utility. Uh, the next one just wants you to perform 20 air skills in a GT car to win the Bentley Continental Super Sport. So yet again, I've filtered it, scroll all the way down just to GT cars, but bear in mind it is not the Super GT, just normal GT. So any of these, now... I haven't got a huge selection, but you get the gist. Obviously, if you don't have any of the cars, remember that there will be a 30% off on the auction house, um, or sorry, auto show event. I'm going to use the Bentley Continental Super Sport just to show you guys what you're going to win. Uh, and then I come over here, just off the um, airfield, so you can see all of these dunes and mounds, etc. Uh, and all you've got to do is rag the tits off your car uh, and do as many jumps as possible, obviously, to get your air skills. It really won't take you very long. It will take you maybe about five minutes, if that. So you just want to keep on going over loads of dunes. Now I'd recommend whatever car you use, I would tune it up a bit to make it quite quick. As you can see here, the standard Bentley is taking a while to get from jump to jump. Um, but yeah, you get the gist, it's really not that hard at all. All you have to do is loads of jumps. You don't have to do it here either, you know, there is specific jumps on the actual airfield itself. Or if you just fly over loads of fields, you'll probably end up getting lots of air skills. But this is the easiest place because there's lots of jumps in a short space. Um, anyway guys, I hope this helped you out. Um, I would say I hope you enjoyed it, but I don't know how fun these videos are. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope this helped you out, obviously, on your way to winning the Porsche 944 Turbo and the Bentley Continental Super Sport. But a massive thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. Um, I hope you've been enjoying all of my videos you know Forza Horizon 3, Need for Speed, Forza 7 etc but yeah a massive thank you if this did help you out and you did enjoy it don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for more videos just like this but thank you very much and good luck in this Forza-thon.